on the 1st of February 2003, Columbia began its descent back to Earth. As the shuttle raced over the Pacific towards the US, the crew put on their suits, preparing themselves for a routine landing. It was now 8.40 a.m., and these are pictures of their last moments alive. Columbia's a, a beautiful ship. She's performing magnificently. At 8.44 a.m., Columbia re-entered the Earth's atmosphere. Still, everything appeared normal. Everything looked good to you. Control and rates and everything is nominal, right? Control's been stable. We have good trims. I don't see anything out of the ordinary. Okay. It's crazy in there, isn't it? Then, just 22 minutes before touchdown, at 8.54 in the morning, there was an unusual reading from one of the shuttle's many sensors. Flight back. Go ahead, Max. FYI, I've just lost four separate temperature transducers on the left side of the vehicle, uh, hydraulic return temperatures. Four high return temps? To the left outboard and left inboard elevon. In Columbia, Houston, we see your tire pressure Compton. messages and we did not copy your last. Is it instrumentation, Max? Uh, flight Max, those are also off. Roger. Off the Columbia, Houston, com check. Columbia, Houston, UHF 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 com check. At 9.16, the truth dawned on mission control. The space shuttle had been lost. GC flight. GC flight. Fly GC. Lock the doors. Copy. Thirty-eight miles above ground, the space shuttle had exploded. All seven on board were killed. The question was, what had gone wrong? <laughs> 